I got two LED strips uh, as candidates for lighting up uh, the Alienware computer case. Uh, one is this high density uh, very animated one that you see here. Uh, which, by the way, cross talks with my TV. My TV is going nuts right now. Blinking. So, uh, apparently the TV is using the same code. So let me unplug that. Deal with that later. All right, that's one problem with the uh, animated one. It apparently uses the radio and it uses the same code as the one that I have on the back of the TV. Uh, the other problem is. It's way too complicated, I think. Uh, you can see this remote, and it has a mode button to control the animations. There's 358 modes. So if you want to change to have your TV or your computer case do something, you have to just hit the button over and over and over again until you get to what you want. Now, if you wanted just to fix color, that's easy. There's six buttons down there at the bottom. And the uh, brightness is variable. So it's not a complete but it's too complicated for just lighting up the case. Um, so anyway. More modes. Three lights, two lights. Every You can't set the color separately. Every mode. The reason it has so many modes is that there's all these combinations of colors for the same kind of animation. Two dots moving, and then all the color combinations. One dot moving. <laughs> right? Oh, this one's going to change color every time. Okay, well, anyway. Bouncing dots. Anyway, so I don't think this is a win. I, I thought maybe the a animations would be nice and uh, there would only be a few of them, but 358 and all this complexity, I think this is not the thing you want inside a computer case. Okay, so let's forget about that. The other one is not animated. It's, uh, notice there's fewer lights, but it's fine. That That's the same density of lights that I used in the other case when I lit it up and it's fine. Uh, let's see, it has brightness And it has, as you can see, it has a whole bunch of colors. And, you know, three purples and a blue, a couple of blues, and some greens, and reds, and oranges. 
Now the colors may not be very accurate. That's, that's orange and it looks kind of yellow to me, but, and there's yellow looks kind of green to me, but anyway, there are different colors. And uh, some of them are nice. And like I said, there's brightness. Let's see. That's lowest. Oh, that's lowest. And that's brightest. And uh, got white, which is kind of bluish. Okay, so then we got, say, blue, and it's got flashing. Okay, this, okay, this is, I think this is really strobe. I think some of these buttons are flipped. Anyway, that's that, that's called flash. This is called strobe. I think that's really, okay, anyway. And then there's fade, what they call fade. It seems to be fading between colors. And then there's smooth. I think they've switched fade and smooth here. This, or strobe and s smooth. That doesn't look smooth to me. That looks like strobe. Anyway, whatever. It's got, this is changing colors in a pattern. I doubt if this is what anybody wants for a computer case anyway. I guess is you want a solid color. That's certainly what I want in a computer case. And it's got a bunch of different colors. So I think this is the, case, the, the one I'll use. Now both of these are powered by USB. They have a remote. This one is an IR remote. So it won't confuse other things in the area like the radio one does. And this one has plenty of lights to light up two sides in the front of a Alienware case. As you can see, the controller is quite small. It's this little thing here. Can you see my, yeah, you can see my hand. It's about, what, a little over an inch long, a little cable on the end of it. So it can be powered by USB you know, five volts inside the uh, computer case. So I think that's the one I'll be using. Okay.